Greetings, my fellow unicorns. I'm Jolene. Welcome to Jolene Sparkles. I uh, had a little bit of a, uh, wow, my green screen's kind of messed up here. Eh, whatever. It's not perfect positioning, but hey, who knows. Um, yeah, I was off for the past week because of uh, some dental stuff, but I am back, and we're going to play some uh, Dyson Spear program. If there's a bunch of noise in the background, that's because Brittany's actually in the process of trying to um, get something set up over here so she can sit down and hang out with me. I got a mic set up for her, um, and uh, but that's another reason why my green screen's all messed up, because, uh, oh wow, how is that like that? Hmm. The lights off my computer are actually bouncing on the green screen, and they're making it go all weird. Eh, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so she's going to be bringing something in in just a moment at some point. I don't know when. And she's going to come in and surprise us and say hi. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to tell anybody she's coming here. <gasps> Oopsies. Well, guess what? She's going to be here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's see here. Can we get the game going? Oh, I hate that looking for game to capture. Like, you know exactly where it is. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be back to some Dyson Sphere program. Um, and you can see that in my first game, I actually have 32 hours in it now. And uh, my second game, uh, which I just started last night, I was tooling around with for a little bit, has uh, like three hours on it. Yeah, okay, a little bit of time. Anyway, but here is the main game that we're playing, which actually is weirdly the game that I have uh, the least number of hours in. That's two hours. And uh, let's go ahead and load that. So there's been a couple of small patches since the um, last time the... Uh, uh, since the last time I streamed, um, but, uh, you know, nothing too, too major. So, um, wait, are you going to say hi? Well, you were talking, oh. so can you hear me now? Good. I, I can kind of hear you. Kinda? Uh, y yeah, you'll have to bring that a little bit closer to you because, uh, oh, I'm have to move your CPU. uh, well, we can't move that. So, um, not even because that's as far as it's going to come. Well, you can always just lean over when you want to talk. Just sit there and look pretty, and then when you want to talk, you just kind of... Yeah, I mean, you could do that, right? I could. Yeah, people can't hear you when you just nod your head. Really? Yeah. So when I was sitting there... Boop, boop, boop. Anyway. <laughs> well, the other thing you could possibly do is, uh, I mean, if you want to mess around with... Um, I don't know. There's not much I could do right now. i got to get my stream going, so... Sorry, girl. Um... Hi. Yeah. Hi. How are Hi. you? <laughs> um, yeah, but you will have to talk a little bit more into the mic because uh, uh, I can't really quite hear you. But uh, here, let's. Well, let's... you know, maybe I'll finish. Oh, there we go. That's actually maybe I'll better. I'll figure it out. Oh, did you figure it out? Well, as long as you're talking towards the microphone, it'll be fine. Uh, but I just raised your gain up a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. All right. How dare you make me gain weight? I didn't say gain weight. I said microphone gain. No, you said you turned my gain up. And I don't oh, want to gain more. I already. Whatever. Anyway, okay, so. Back to our factory, yeah. So, um, let's see. Kind of taking a look at where we are at last time, because I don't fully remember. We got our blue science kind of going. Got a little bit of a buffer of blue science kind of building up over here, which is great. Uh, I don't know how much of our research we've actually unlocked. Uh, we still got quite a bit of ways to go with our research. That's good. Um, there's still tons to do. How many others? Okay, so there's a couple that still are just blue science only. Um, there's a couple of them, but we're not going to quite get those kicked off just yet. Um, part of that is that we want to fix up some of these electronic uh, circuit uh, production. It's a little bit slow right now. But the reason why it's slow right now is because you can see that we're kind of low on copper. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is moving my copper o from over here to over here, and this way we can have more than one um, smelter pulling off that line. So we will have to temporarily disable this. We're going to take that away, take that away, and bring this over. Hmm. I guess we'll kind of do it like this, and then we'll just kind of loop back around. Yeah, I think that'll work. And, okay, so let's put a smelter here. Even though this is, has the wrong recipe in place, we can fix that. There we go. And, oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. That's what I wanted. Excellent. Okay, so let's add an input here. Hi, PJ. 
Congratulations, welcome back. I don't know why I'm congratulating you, but I'm congratulating you on finding my stream. There we go. That's what I was congratulating the words. I can't words. I have the dumb PJ. PJ says, what is this place? Smelter? I barely knew her. Smelter? I barely knew her. Ha! Huh? <laughs> hey, PJ, is it too early for uh, pancakes? Ooh. <laughs> we just had breakfast, and... Um, Brittany really wanted pancakes, and I just kept thinking of that scene from uh, Groundhog Day. No, we had Brenner. Well, we didn't end up having the pancakes, but she wanted pancakes. So, but we, but we had Brenner, so we had breakfast for dinner. Br Brenner? Brenner. H who? Breakfast for dinner. So you take breakfast and dinner, and you put it together, and you have Brenner. Sure, sounds good to me. You had me at breakfast. Everything else was just like nonsense. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hurt. Are you? A little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that I'm apologizing or anything. I mean, hi. <gasps> oh my God. Did I say that out loud? Oh my yes. God. Yes. Flapjacks. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so great thing, PJ. Uh, I had said the yes, and she knew exactly what it was. Uh, so that I thought was amazing. And then we ended up watching that episode. Was it last night or something like that? Mm -hmm. We were just watching the Brood Witch episode uh, not too long ago. All right. So now that we've increased our per our copper production, um, you know, we just kind of moved it down here just a little bit. We still have a little bit more room to expand when we want to. This way we could move our miner over here. Or we can add another miner here and we could add some additional uh, smelters. But for right now, I think this is good. Um, actually, you know what? I think I will go ahead and put a buffer here. Because if we are not, um, I mean, even though we're not utilizing all that right now, there's no reason not to uh, get all of that extra good materials in here. So, blonde question. Why is it on all of these games that it's dark? That Why what's is it dark? Always so dark. Like, the screen is so dark all the time. Well, um, right now it's because of this uh, little interesting thing called nighttime. Oh. Um, you can see that the sun is uh, setting right now. Oh. and uh, But don't worry. The great news is that in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see there's a little timer that it says we're currently in the winter zone, mm. which means the sunlight's a little bit shorter. And there's 336 more seconds until the sun rises on the other side. But now if we expand out, you can see that the sun is also being blocked by this gas giant right here. So that makes things a little bit more complicated. So there is no sun. So the days are six minutes long? Sure. I'm going to get I mean, really it depends old on, really fast. I mean, it depends on what planet you're on. It depends on the uh, the tilt. It depends on, like, whether you have things in front of you. Uh, this is actually kind of weird the way that it's having this, like, glow on it. Right. Because that glow really shouldn't be there that extreme like that. But whatever. I, I get why they put it there. It looks kind of cool. But um, eventually, when this gas planet moves out of the way, then it will be easier to kind of see. You did what on the planet? Um, you weren't supposed to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> But now you can see that, like, for example, if we were over on this planet, it has a very different day-night cycle mm -hmm. um, just because of where the actual tilt is. Uh, I think the starter... I'm starting to think that the starter, like, uh, little solar system is the exact same regardless of which... Um, of how you start the game or whatever seed you use. I might be wrong on that, but it all looks the same now. Okay, so you can see that we are starting to build up, but we're about to build up a little bit of a buffer of our green circuits, which is great. Okay, these are just called electronic circuits, whatever, you know. Or circuit boards, that's what they're called in this game. Um, okay, cool. Now we can kick off a little bit of research while that's going. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can do. Somebody's thinking of Factorio all the time. Me? Factorio? Never. I never. never think about Factorio all the time. Actually, speaking of Factorio, so some great news I read. Mm. Factorio is going to have an expansion soon. So that is super awesome news. Um, they haven't announced anything that I think they... Well, they've basically announced saying that they are starting it. So they haven't really announced very much of anything <laughs> yet. But they are starting on it. So that's great. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so just kind of looking through my different uh, things that I need to research to figure out, like, what really makes sense to go with next. 
And I think that basic chemical, basic chemical engineering will probably be next. So we'll go through and let that kind of knock out. I'm going to grab some more uh, of these out of here so we can continue to do a little bit of research on it. So it's funny to me looking at the structures here that you, you don't have basic chemical engineering, but you're producing stuff that looks like it's out of the 30th century. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know how that works, but, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess basic, you know, chemical engineering means something a little bit different in those times. Mm. In you those know? times. In those times, yeah. Is, it, is this the before times? It, this is the before and after times. The before and the after times. The before the after times. No, the before the after. Yes, yes, yes. As opposed to the after the after times, or the before the before. Yes, exactly. Yes, because we're in the before the after, right. Yeah, exactly. Totally. exactly. I mean, I, what, what part of that was not, like, easy to digest besides all of it? It was... It was it was the words. Yeah, yeah, it was the words. It was definitely the words. Yeah. Okay, so just beefing up our uh, iron production a little bit more. And, uh, you know, the interesting thing is when I first started playing this game, I um, I didn't think you can actually overlap the uh, miners here, but it appears that it works just fine. I mean, obviously, the mines that you have uh, overlapped will definitely deplete a lot faster. Uh, and it looks like I can't seem to select those. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they will deplete a lot faster, um, but, you know, w whatever, as yeah. long as you're using the materials. Um, I might need to put one more smelter on here. Um, yes, and whoever smelter dealt her. Ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah, that was terrible, I know. Mm -hmm. It was bad, and you should feel bad. Yes, exactly. It was bad, and I should feel bad. Um, okay, so what I'm trying to figure out right now is that... Uh, so I have this separate line here for dealing with steel beams and such. And then I got this one right here, which we do need a little bit more, but I'm kind of hesitant about stealing off this line because I kind of want to keep this line dedicated. I'm trying a little bit different strategy this time around. But what I am going to do, I think, is I'm going to create... We'll create a couple more of these... And then we'll put the miner right over here and then just have it feed in another line. Um, and that will allow it so we don't have to mess up that other one. Oops. There we go. And then you can get a little bit more precision uh, drop if you just hold down the shift key and then cl and then uh, tap R. Just give it a little tappy tap. And um, it, will, uh, it will come out. And that's what she said. <laughs> Is um, it? it? It is. It is what and, she and, said. And, and when? when yes. Did she? Yes. Okay. She did. She absolutely did. Hey, uh, PJ, just out of curiosity, how well can you hear Brittany? It's the first time we're doing uh, two mics here, so I don't know how well it's actually working. I mean, I didn't have any time to run any tests. I was running five minutes late after all, which is an absolute non shock. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that we now have these uh, two lines connected, which is just providing a little bit more copper, or co uh, excuse me, iron ore to, uh, there we go. Now that last smelter should start getting some as soon as these first couple smelters get filled up. Uh, let's just put that there. Yeah, yep, there we go. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we're starting to produce a lot more so we can continue down that line and such. Um, okay, so let's see what else we can do. Uh, that research is probably going to be done soon, so we'll probably want to uh, do some stuff with our chemical engineering. Uh, and we'll also need to do some stuff with our semiconductor material. We don't quite need it just yet, but we might as well get some of that stuff can, uh, set up soon. Uh, oh, we're going to need silicon for that. Silicone. Silicone or silicon? Or just yes. I like silicone. Well, I like them both for different reasons. <laughs> for different um, activities. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yeah, activities. Same. same. Uh, so yeah, PJ says more that uh, Yep, that you need more cowbell. And please do not actually get a cowbell. PJ, don't <sighs> say things like that because she will literally go do it. And I don't mean figuratively. I mean she literally, literally. I'm super, literally, super serial. Super serial. All right, so I'm coming over here, and I think that this little... Um, you know me too well. Yeah, I do. No. Um, so and I think this little area will be great for building our uh, our oil extraction and, um, and um, bloodification over here. 
Um, I don't know. I just decided to use that word. I don't even know if it's a word, but it is now. So if we use these stream decks, could we do like a radio show where we have like sound effects? Uh, yes, I could have those set up on there, but um, I don't Cowbell. currently. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually could have a cowbell button. Um, I don't quite have it right now, but yes, we, we could have a cowbell. Oh, my God. You know what? I wonder if they ever update that app. You know, on the older iPhones, they actually had an app called More Cowbell. And guess what? Oh, wait. I guess it would help if I turn on the volume. Yeah, this app, apparently, they're still updating. Yeah. Anyway. Need, needs more cowbell. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs more oh, cowbell. Uh, mature audiences, huh, says Emmy Athena. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. completely mm -hmm. mature-ish audience. Wait, no, we're not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're really not. Yeah, That's Amy Athena. She's uh, a character. Oh. She's a character in a character... Sauce. I don't know. Character sauce. I don't know. You're Excellent asking me to make though. words that make sense no. in any particular order. Okay, good. No, you just need to sit there and look pretty. Okay. Which well. you're doing really great at. No, that's what your job is tonight. Uh, you look so much better than me. No. Whatever. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, usually I would say I'm not wearing pants, but I am. This is true. She's normally not wearing pants in my apartment. To be fair, neither am I, but... um. Um, wait, what were we talking about again? Uh, cowbell. Oh, yes, gotta have more cowbell. More cowbell. Yeah, so I'm setting up this little oil refinery system over here, and I'm noticing that oh. I don't have enough stone. We're, we actually need to build a little um, stone mining operation. Well, guess we'll put that over here, because this... Oh, core energy, core energy is uh, is running low. Ah, look at how slow... Yeah, this is what happens when you run out of core energy. Look what? at how slow you go until you go ahead and chop down some trees and put them in. There you go. Really? See, now I'm starting to get a little bit more... Wait, okay, wait. Gotta let it charge up a little bit. See in the bottom left? You run off of wood? Well, yeah, sometimes. But well, I'm gonna put this these... Um, these um, there, there's, there's definitely a joke there, by the way. Oh, I know. I know there's lots of jokes in there, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be mature because apparently we're just not very mature in this, uh, I don't know. What were we talking about again? Uh, wood. Cowbell. Yes. We need wood. more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That too. Okay. So yeah, the reason I'm setting this up over here is because, uh, we need more of these stone bricks and it's something that we're going to need quite a bit, um, for some of our buildings and we also will need them for foundations so we might as well kind of get that production going now and for these we need a smelter but you know i'm probably not going to run a whole well yeah i guess we'll do two smelters on it wow that's kind of weird look at how that thing was going hmm. it jigs and then it jags it does i guess we'll just put it like that there it looks pretty Yes, yeah, so I guess we'll put two of these down. Oops. And then we want to select our stone bricks. Not a big fan of how you shot copy paste in this game. I wish they would do it like they do in um, some of the other games where you hit Q or a middle button, middle mouse button, like whichever. Um, okay, so let's put a sorter here, bring this in. Oh, wait, actually, I think we need to use level two sorters here because if I remember correctly, yes. No. I'm wrong. Yes, Never mind. No. Yes. yes, no, I'm wrong. Yes. 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 <laughs> now, what I was trying to figure out is that, okay, so this particular recipe is one second, and these sorters can uh, transport 1.5 per second. So that means that we don't actually need to use faster ones here because the power difference between the uh, sorter Mark 1s and smart, uh, uh, Mark 2s yeah. is a little bit of power, so we want to make sure that we're not wasting that power. Mm. Because at this stage of the game, power is, is something that's, uh, you know, it's not something you want to waste. And remember, with no power comes no responsibility. That's what I want. No responsibility? Yes. But you like no responsibility. That's what I just said. I know. I like no responsibility. I know. Yeah. That's what you said. It is what I said, and I meant it. Send a salami to your boy in the army. That's what they always said. 
she she doesn't know jerky boys so she's she's completely lost i know pj before you say it like yes we need to fire her out of a cannon into the sun yeah i get it i don't want to die well no we're not gonna kill you we're just gonna you know give you a gentle gentle push towards the sun oh okay don't worry it'll be gentle but i don't want to be a pie but you don't want to be part of the sun no okay no (laughs) I'm just going to drop the solar panel. Um, we're going to probably end up, I mean, we're definitely going to end up moving it to a different location. What I had done in my main game was I actually came mm. up to the poles, and I think it was, um, so it depends on what time of year you're going to do it. So if you're in, so we're in winter time right now, and if I were to put it on the North Pole, that means that the North Pole would, or there would be a little bit more um, sun. Exposure. A little more exposure to the solar cells during the winter time if I put them up around here. But you can see that there's definitely a good amount of water here as well, so we'd have to fill all that in. So maybe we won't do that. South Pole is even worse. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, we will probably end up doing that once we can start building a lot more of these automated. But we're just gonna drop the one that we have right now because reasons. And it's here, we have it. It's just power generation, it doesn't add a whole lot. It's like what? Uh, the maximum is like 500 kilowatts or something like that. It's not very much. It powers like the foot of a machine. Not even the whole machine, just the foot. Just the foot. Just the foot. That was what I heard. Yeah, that, that's what I heard. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have some of that stuff, what was I going to make? I was going to make oil refineries, but it looks like we need some more things here. Uh, it looks like we need some glass, and we're not, we're not producing glass yet, so we should probably go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, where is the glass at? Yeah, we have not started producing glass, so we're going to have to do that as well. But I don't want to build it so close to everything else already. I'm trying to spread out a little bit more because the last time, or my first game, once you get to a certain size, if you have built way too small, it becomes really difficult to work. So I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit further. And it's not like Factoria where you have to worry about uh, you know, biters coming in, you don't have to worry about base defense and that kind of stuff at this stage of the game. It's very possible at some stage of the game that they might add that stuff in, but as of right now, they haven't. So I'm going to drop a, oops, I'm going to drop a deuce. I mean, drop a, um, uh, a miner over Jolene. here. What? I didn't say anything. Did I say something inappropriate? Um, no. Oh, okay, good. What so then what are you complaining about? about? <gasps> 1.21 gigawatts. Yeah, exactly. Says PJ. I think it's 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 supposed to be gigawatts, by the way. Giga. No, no, no. I I, 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 I say giga. 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 Jenga. Jenga. Oh my god, we should play Jenga. Oh my god, yes, we should totally do that. Are okay, we we're gonna it? play Jenga tonight. I don't know. I just officially decided either that or we might work on a Lego project. I don't know. Oh, actually, we really want to do the Legos. We also did want to work on your computer, but I think that'll have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. If we didn't spend all day in bed, and I do literally, figuratively mean all day. That was great, though. It was. It really was. Yeah, we were being complete lazy bitches today. Yeah. I mean, we got out of bed at, what, 5? Ish. Ish, yeah. Yeah. PM? Uh, well, sure as hell isn't going to be AM. I mean, that's probably what time you went to sleep, but that's not what time I woke up. I can tell you that much. All right, so um, I am putting this on a separate power system right now. And if this is another kind of experiment I've been running with, with, you know, by doing a more modular base and some of these things like, um, you know, a- until we get up to the next level of power, you know, using like wind turbines, if we're only using it for the small little setup over here, we can just let it run independently. And we don't have to worry about adding additional capacity to it um, mm. until we add a lot more things to it. Are you mm. tired? Or are you just bored? Um, She's like, oh, wait, I don't want to answer this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know how it is. Yeah, I, I get it. My stream is boring. I know. I understand. No. Wow, she's so I, I, bored right now. She's like, oh, my God. I'm so bored. Uh, wait, where did we come over here to start making? Oh, yeah, we got to make some glass. That's right, glass. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, wait, we need to b- grab some iron and stuff. Whee! 
sleep like, flying I remember, away. I did only wake up two hours ago, so you know this is like eight in the morning for me. I swear she's operating on uh, PJ standard time. That that's that's what time PJ wakes up. Okay. Yeah. yeah PJ See, PJ doesn't do this thing called work. Usually yeah. mine. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I know. I, Isn't like it nice? Yeah. Um. PJ, can I, can when's I, the last time you wife? worked? I'm just asking PJ, like, when's the last time he actually worked? It is kind of hilarious. So one company he worked for, um, his uh, employee ID number was 404, which was perfect for <laughs> him found. because, yeah, he was <laughs> never found. Like, <laughs> you could just never find that, that, that bastard. Oh, my like, God, that reminds me on, um, what was it, Dilbert? That Did guy, Scott Adams is a complete homophobe by the way i can't oh, stand really? him yeah he well, is I, unfortunately I still, I still liked the the comic the, the comic was funny yeah but yeah. he's a giant anyway so what were we saying um oh well, there was a character on there who didn't do any work on dilbert oh yeah i mean well every single office has that person or six 2014 says pj 2014 and wow that's that temps. must be nice pj uh you must have done some really good investments to be able to do that that's uh I'm impressed. Not gonna lie. Okay, so you can see we're um, building up a couple more smelters because our power is actually. Oh, excuse me. Um, excuse. Yeah, I had a little bit of a belch. Um, but yeah, you can see that our fuel's running a little bit low, um, and that's just we're not producing nearly enough. I'm trying uh, to remember all the things I had worked on last. Episode, I'm trying but. to remember how this would be a reference because I do remember what this is from. Uh, PJ says, L "LOL, I is am Death Clock employee." And I do remember Death Clock. Yes, but I don't get how it would be employee. Like how? how the, there's an episode. The, okay, there's an okay. episode that line is okay. from. Okay, it's been a l very long time since I've seen that. Like, yeah. We have to go to the foods library. Foods library. My mom didn't really. It's let a me grocery watch that. store dish bag. Death clock was a little. Uh, I don't know, maybe a little, little more than the usual adult level on Adult Swim. Yeah, Brittany grew up in a religious family, so um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how. Wait, no, Death Clock is perfect for religion. Like, I don't get it. Like, actually, it has a whole lot more to do with religion than <laughs> most of the shows would. <laughs> they actually touch on religion, I think, quite a few times there. They do. It's just yeah. mostly about Satan. And, yeah. You know. I mean, I'm totally down for that. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, we should watch some Mr. Pickles because uh, you said you haven't watched no, Mr. I never Pickles watched before. Mr. Pickles. Yeah, no. we're gonna watch some Mr. Pickles. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm beefing up our. Um, Ooh, you said beef. Uh, beefing, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> beef. <laughs> beef. I'm beefing up our energetic graphite right now. And, uh, you know, I added a lot more smelters, but then, of course, that made our uh, production of the uh, grabbing the coal out of there a little slow. I mean, the amount, the rate that we're putting it in is still lower than the rate that we're taking it out. Um, but we're consuming so much of it that we need to uh, extend this out a little further. Now, there's a few ways you could do that in this game. If you had Mark II uh, sorters, we could do that. We do not. Wait, we do have Mark II sorters. Amy but Athena the problem says, is, oh, a very good doggy or bad. Yes, exactly. You will totally get it later. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Uh, it's a Mr. Pickles reference. I figured it was a Mr. Pickles reference because yep. I know Mr. Pickles is about a dog. That's all I know. Mr. Pickles. That's literally all I know. <gasps> oh my god! I just broke the law again. I forgot. I am not forbidden by to law sing. to sing. I'm not allowed to anymore. All right, so we are using Mark II sorters already. Um, so what I can, uh, so what we can do is we could just add a couple of more of these inserters to grab out a little bit more resources at a time. And you can see that we're, yeah, we're going to start going down in the, the resources, but you can see that it's still going back and, you know, back populating all these that, that will take a little bit of time. However, I don't want to wait all day. So we're just going to add a third here. However, that does mean that the, uh, the amount that's going in will be significantly smaller than the amount coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, why can't I get rid of that? There we go. We're going to get rid of that. I forgot my phone. That's right. Why'd you right forget back. your phone? I don't know. I'm well, blonde. Well, she's blonde. My, my job is to look pretty, not be smart. It's like you. <laughs> Wee. 
Okay, so we're dropping this other smelter here, and then we're going to take this belt kind of coming out, and uh, I'm basically going to connect two of these coal miners together, and that will uh, double up our production of coal going into this uh, box right here. But luckily, because we already have this um, this uh, this little buffer here, this is why I really like these buffers. You need to make a big change like this. Well, guess what? You already have enough resources that are coming out of that buffer and going in. Um, but of course, if you're not putting more stuff into your buffer than you're actually consuming, a buffer would not help and it would not work in this situation. You sure said buffer a lot. I, I do say the word buffer a lot, yeah. yeah. So we'll drop a second uh, sorter there, which will grab the, the other one. But either way, it'll... The way that I had this set up right here is that there is a little bit of a uh, channel. So um, if this one is just not producing fast enough, which I think it will, wow. then it'll kind of merge in from the other Twitch side. Is, oh my god, Twitch is so lame. So that, that, that alert that we just heard? Yeah. Look. This is why I never catch your, your, your stream. It took till 7.36 well, to alert me that your stream was going on. Jesus, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. That's really lame. I, I should ask about that or find out about it. it. took 30 minutes for the stream notification to come through. Uh, Amy, Athena, PJ, anyone else in chat, um, did you get the notification for uh, the stream and how long did it take? And what about YouTube? Did you get a notification for YouTube and, you know? Oh, I didn't get one for YouTube. Although I might have YouTube turned off. No, 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 I don't. Actually, I get YouTube remind me I, all the time. It does remind me I should throw up my multi-stream. Um, there we go. Hi. It looks like Audrey is also here. Hi, Audrey. She's actually on YouTube. Um, oh. This doesn't yeah. show... Oh, this is no, it only shows the one, but I have to get the other screen. Yeah, there's kind of a problem right now. I have to get the other screen kind of set up so I can, you know, whatever. Oh, um, sorry we missed you so far. I've yeah. been trying to keep up on top of the comments because they're over here. Well, next time I'm going to set up the... Uh, Twitch was instant. Oh, interesting. Huh, I don't know. It must be an Android thing. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, hi. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, next time I'll try to get my second monitor set up. Oh, God. I hate this little light. Over, wait, it's over here. Um, is there any chance you can bring the green screen a little forward? Because it looks like there's like a thing coming out of my... Yeah. You see that right there? See that? I do see that. that so you want that. to bring it closer to us? Uh, it's going to come forward just a little bit. How's that? Which one did you... This side. Yes, I did bring it forward. So you want it left, not forward? Because I brought it closer to us. That's what I did. Yeah. Why didn't it go through? What the hell? Well, we just made it worse. Wait, is it this side? Yeah, it's this side. Uh, it's because uh, it needs to be brought out. Yeah, but if you do that now, edge. guess what? You just messed up the other side. Well. Good job. You're fired out of a cannon into the sun. Well, um, okay, it's a little bit better. I, I gotta fix my camera setup. Hey, but at least I did actually switch my camera around to the other side. Uh, a friend of mine, Pavel, hit me up and uh, messaged me saying, uh, Hey, you know, it does kind of really annoy me that you're facing away from the game. So we're now facing at the game, but it means that I had to do like a mirror image. So it's kind of throwing me off, like which side is which, you know, like whatever. Anyway. Uh yeah. I don't... Uh, just just yeah. be pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now that we got our coal production going a little bit further, it still looks like we're kind of... Eh, we're not going as quick as we really would like. Um, and I guess the way that we can actually solve that is... Hmm. Well, we could... Uh, oh, wait. You know what? It doesn't really matter because we uh, we have sufficient... Uh, of these, uh, the solid fuel, wait, what the hell is it called? The energetic, uh... Energon? <laughs> yes, uh, inner space, I don't know, something like that. Inner species relations? Uh, maybe later. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a buffer here as well, because if we're gonna be producing all this stuff, we're gonna wanna buffer it up, and to be honest with you, we will end up using it, so it's no big deal. Buffer. Yes, I do say the word buffer a lot. Buffer, buffer yes, buff, exactly. Buff, buffer. I, I am going to message Audrey in case if she's not watching anymore. 
How's her build going? Well, it's interesting because she actually just sent me a picture of her build. Ooh. This is her new build. Is that pretty nice? She went with the all-in-one. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. We were talking about that. Oh, she got a 3070. I'm jealous. Yeah. Well, she probably spent a dime for it, so. Yeah, well. That's okay. I, uh, I, I do. I really want to upgrade to a 3090, but I don't really need to upgrade to the 3090. So I'm trying <laughs> to hold off until the 40s come out, but, you know. Anyway. Are you going to get a 40? Uh, I thought you wanted to go liquid cooled. Well, yeah, I would go liquid cooled, of course, but, you know, the 40s are coming out later on in the year. That's the rumor, at least. Mm. Okay, so, um, but yeah, now we got a little bit more power production kind of going here. Um, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was texting Audrey to just tell her that, uh, that I missed her chat on the, on the, on the YouTubes. But I will start keeping a better eye on it now. <laughs> okay, so we're buffering that. That's good. We're going to grab a little bit out of this buffer so we can have some fuel on us, which is always a good thing before, you know, we can actually just put this over here so we could burn out the rest of that uh, wood that we have on us. Good. We got that production going up a little bit better. Now let's head back to our... Wait, where were we going to put it? We we're going to create some... Um, where was I putting it? Oh, it's over this way. I know where you can put it. Um, what? Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what? What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, we're talking about things and stuff. Oh, stuff and things. Stuff and things, yes. Stuff, stuff and things? Things and stuff. stuff and things. Or stuffing things and yes. things. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up some of our glass over here. Uh, glass, and then that's going to need... Wait, is that two? Yeah, so that requires two stone parts, so I definitely don't... I mean, I could use two level one sorters, but you know what? Let's just create a couple of level two sorters. Uh, or Actually, we had a bunch of those, but we should create some anyway. Um, because we want to make sure that they are getting in and out pretty quickly. I did decide to say it that way on purpose, for the record. You know, the old in and out. Yeah, there The is. old in and out. Do you get the joke? The old in and out. I don't like in and out. Do you, do you not like in and out burgers? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Not everybody likes them. I mean, I get it, you know. I'm weird. I like Sonic better. But you're, you could have just left it at, you're weird. And, and that would have been, yeah. That would have been sufficient? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fry, remember how we told you that you should finish your, your, your stories one sentence sooner? And I, I screwed up that line, so never mind. <laughs> okay, so oh. what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up, um, you know, we've got our glass production going right here. And um, we're just going to drop that in a buffer for right now. We're going to grab one more of these smelters, and we might actually have to drop down a little mm. bit more uh, wind production, because I'm not sure we're going to have enough over here right now. Oh, actually, we're, we're producing enough. Oh, I produce a lot of wind all the time, to be honest with you. I mean, you might have heard of that. How rude. Ha have you ever... <laughs> have you ever heard me making wind? <laughs> um, I have done it quite a few times. No comment. No comment, she says. In other words, she does know about me breaking wind. Uh -huh. I mean, producing wind. Uh, I yeah. mean, breaking b bread. Wait, <laughs> What? What were we talking Don't about? Don't bring Jesus into this. Well, oh, God, no. I'm not talking no about No breaking him. bread. No. no, no oh, actually, no. No, no Christianity. We'll, 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 keep, we'll, keep, we'll keep the stream, like, neutral. Neutral? Like, like the, the evil neutral people of neutral. What was that? The, the neutral If planet? I die, what, tell my wife I, I said, said maybe. hello. Oh, no, I thought it was... <sighs> no, 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 no. That was whenever he was talking about his gut feelings. Yes. All I know is I feel maybe. All I know is my gut says maybe. There it is. That was. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> what? Th these are safety scissors. Who could we possibly kill from them? The weird people of Nylon Four. The, the yarn people. Yarn people of yarn. Nar people. Yarn. Nar yarn. Yarn. Nylon Four. Something like that. The, well, the if, if Nardia. Zap Brannigan. Clips. Nardia. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's Zap Brannigan. We're quoting. It doesn't need to make much sense. Oh, no, of course not. It really doesn't. Well, my favorite um, Zap Brannigan quote, though, mm -hmm. is, um, 
Oh God, what was it? If, if we get, if we get this, um, if we can just hit that bullseye, the rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. It's my favorite Zap Brown that is quote. Cringy, isn't it? Ouch. Like Does that just, hurt that your brain? Yeah, it literally. Does That's hurt why I love it. <sighs> I mean, did I say that out loud? Yeah. So mm. continuing to build out a little bit more um, wind production here. Uh, let's see, just a little bit more, and that should be good. Cool. That that will cover that. That'll cover all these. It's completely disconnected from our other system, so it's not really costing us anything to just run a bunch of these right now. Um, actually, you know, we'll probably. Hmm, um, I was debating on should I add one more here. Um, the problem is if I add one more smelter, I guaranteed we'll need to add one more miner. Uh, and that's going to increase the power requirements quite a bit. However, there are some additional things that we need to do with stone. We need to get some silicon. Oh, wait. You know what? Can we actually start on the next planet? Can we get there? I think we can. Uh, let me check my upgrades, because we might be able to take our first little trip to the other planet. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay. Oh, no. We need, uh, we need to get to red. Yep, can't do that quite yet. Okay, we'll, we'll be close. So we got upgrade mech core. Okay, so we should start working on our uh, red science. And, uh, yeah, luckily some of these things we've already started producing extra of. Okay, so we're going to let this kind of go do its thing. I'm going to grab a little bit of ass out of here. I mean glass. I mean <laughs> ass. Um, I can, I can whack, grab what, huh? What? Ooh. Huh? Who? Please. Who? What are you fucking out? Um, <laughs> yeah. Am I here to amuse you? Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's see. What are the next things we want to do? We definitely want to get our um, definitely want to get a little bit more of our science going. But before we do that, we need to get our helium going. And let's see here. We don't have the. I still haven't built one, but there is this thing where you can mine from um, from the gas giants. But I believe that. I don't have nearly the research for that yet. Uh, just kind of checking here. Yep, can't do that just yet. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, now I'm just seeing if there is anything else that requires blue only. And if there is, we're just gonna go ahead and queue that up. Oh wow, we actually have quite a few things. But we're just going to let those all go through, start uh, researching while I go off and okay, start we'll our oil production. Off, I'm just going to go off. Okay, so now we're back over to our... Oh, wait, no, that's where we're doing our... Oh, here's our oil. It's over here. Oh, good thing is we have some coal over here, which is great, because we're going to need that to um, produce uh, some more. Of those, um, oh god, what the hell are they called? It's the um, energetic graphite. We need to produce more of the energetic graphite, which will be used. Oh, graphite energetic. It, it just is. You just have to. Don't question it. Is it like just a Mexican know. jumping bean? Like. Yeah. Doesn't that make sense to you? No, not at all. Good. It doesn't make okay. sense to me either. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, this is another thing I probably should have started producing, but it will be easier to produce those once we get some silicon, I think. Mm. Silicon, silicone, sil sil Speaking of silly. Speaking Ask. Oh, that, that's a good one. Uh, would you like to tell the class what, um, yeah. I don't even know if I can, like, even accurately say this. Um, well, it's, it's a t-shirt with somebody getting beamed up into a UFO, and it says, ask me about my butthole. Yes, there yes, you go. Because, you know, ask me about my butthole. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what we're doing is uh, building a couple more of these oil refineries, and we're going to start setting up some oil refining. The oil refineries are a little bit of a pain in the ass because they go long ways, and you can see that they only have uh, an input on one side's or an output on one side. So what you could do is you could just kind of set them up along like this, which will work, or you have this really awkward way where you can have more of them set up this way, but um, 
but it's a little bit more challenging to get them out. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and set them up this way. They're just a little bit easier to work with overall. And let's see, we're going to want to do, this is the only recipe we have right now, which is the plasma refining. And what that's gonna do is it's take this crude oil, it's gonna turn it into refined oil and hydrogen. The hydrogen, we can turn into hydrogen fuel, um, something or others. And, uh, but for right now, we're just gonna drop them in a big tank and just pretend they don't exist for right now because, you know, I've heard that based on history, no bad things have ever happened by have people having huge amounts of um, hydrogen. <laughs> and helium. And, and hydrogen in like a small area, you know. Archer taught me that, hmm. you know. Dangerous helium gas. Okay, so now what's interesting about this compared to like Factorio, in Factorio when you have, um, when you have a machine that produces two different outputs, it'll be like, okay, well here comes the water and here's the, uh, the, uh, the light oil coming out of two separate tubes. But what this does is it actually has, it, you can take all of the liquids and actually turn them into packaged containers just by putting them into a storage thing, which is kind of weird, but the, the advantage is that you can pull them out of there. You get less storage space, or you can put them in storage tanks, which means you get 10,000 uh, fluid capacity. However, you don't get the, um, uh, you don't get the, uh, uh, you, you can't just pull it out really easy. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, now, the way that it works in this game is we're going to run a thingy going like this. Oh, wait, did we start automating uh, producing belts yet? Did we? Or conveyor belts? I don't know if we did, but if we didn't, we should start doing that soon because creating these by hand is going to get annoying. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to do that next. So let's go ahead and create, you know, two more stacks of those while those are going through. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to collect everything coming out of these, and then we're going to use a filter. The way the filters are done in this game, uh, I, I think that they need to improve it a little bit. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass the way they do it, um, because you kind of have to like set up your filter first. Hmm. And then, uh, oh wait, actually, I didn't want to create 10 of those. Uh, yeah, we're just low on resources, so I don't want to like waste a lot. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these smelters here, even though we're not gonna leave them there. I did that because it lowers the ground. It gets rid of the trees that we won't really care about anymore. We're kind of pulling an anti-captain planet here. <laughs> but the good thing is that you also get uh, soil piles, which you will need to uh, for foundations. So it's always good to kind of drop these down. It's like, it's good when you have a bunch of like things, you can just kind of drop them in place. All over the place, you'll notice that the ground kind of drops underneath it, the things that are in the way, rocks, you know, twigs, people, like whatever else is just destroyed if they're in your way. I like destroying things. You like destroying people? I'm not surprised. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you angry with numbers? Huh? Something else I don't get? Uh, Damn. Yes, I think so. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, I remember the other night on Factorio whenever you decided to set off a... Uh, numerous explosions yeah she was like hey i'm having a rough night can you just set off some explosions for me and i went through and i launched like a million anti-gravity bombs like all in a row she's like more can we make the trains crash and i'm like <laughs> okay she's like okay can we blow up the trains sure so yeah we, we had fun doing that all right, so you can see that the things that are coming out of here are gonna be mixed. We have both of our helium and then we have our refined oil. And what we do is we're going to set up this filter or the splitter, right? Eh, I guess we'll kind of split, we'll set it up a little bit over here so we can have a little bit more room to kind of work here. Uh, let's see here. Actually, you know, before I fully connect that, actually it's gonna connect anyway, who gives a crap? Uh, okay, so we're going to have this one kind of go this way, and then we'll have this one go that way. Now you can see that they're going to be mixed. Well, you can't really see it because it's, it only sorted the one set of things. When you click on it, what's really nice compared to um, 
satisfactory. What's satisfactory when you go to one, the splitters, in satisfactory they have both splitters and they have mergers. They're two separate buildings. This is nice because it only has one and it has it can accomplish both. But this is really nice because as you move your character around, it shows you which direction which things are, which I think is really, really nice. And then from there you can specify like, okay, here we're gonna, if I were to click there and say this is priority input, um, I can specify like, uh, I can prioritize something here or I can just set up a filter. So on this side, we're gonna set up a filter for our hydrogen. And then over on this side, we're gonna set up our uh, filter for refined oil. Now, of course, we're seeing both of these things here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh wait, I think that's gonna screw it up because it gets rid of the filter when you get rid of those. Yeah, unfortunately that kills off the filter. Ah. Oh well. Uh, crap, why is this not working? I had this working the other day. Oh wait, I guess you can only do one filter? I don't know, whatever. Okay, we'll just set up this filter here. Um, oh, I guess they only let you do one filter. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Okay, I didn't realize that, but sure, whatever. Let's see, now if I go ahead and set this up, that means that only refined oil should come out. Perfect. Now, of course, there's no more refined oil coming out because you'll notice that, weirdly, this particular um, thing is totally filled up. So let's go ahead and build another storage tank here. I guess I could get a little bit of volume going here for the game itself. Even though we're trying to ignore this guy who... Oh, wait, we'll turn it back down until that guy's done talking. Because he's saying words, and I don't really care about his words and stuff. Well, I would say I know what you're talking about, but I have no idea what you're talking about. No, she has no idea what she's, what, um, what she's talking about. Hey, well, <laughs> you're not wrong, <laughs> but hey. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there we go. And we're setting up, um, you know, we're just setting up as liquid right now because we want to be able to store a lot more. And we're just going to kind of let this thing run and do its magic. Okay, and then we have the uh, refined oil coming out here. Perfect. Uh, it looks like we do not have power for something here. It's probably the sorter. Yep, that's the problem. So we'll go ahead and I guess we'll set up some wind. Why not? Because we have it and, you know, stuff. So that's just the to-go-to portable power. You just set up a wind turbine where sure. you need power? Yep, exactly. Plus, you know, it just allows us to spread it out a little bit. We are so close to... Uh, the max right now, we won't be able to give maximum satisfaction if we keep adding things. Mm. And that's really bad if you just cannot achieve maximum satisfaction. I'd say. But you could see, like, adding two more of these, because type, adding two more of these, like, barely, it, it barely does anything. They are just not the strongest things in the world. However, we do now, let's create uh, two more thermal power stations. Hmm. We'll go over to our power setup, which is somewhere over the rainbow. I don't remember where. Somewhere over the rainbow. We don't want any copyright strikes now. Don't do that. I'm oh. kidding. Really? I, I don't know. I don't know if singing actually does the copyright strikes or not, but... I, well, and mind you, that's, like, it's got to be public use by now. I don't think it is. Come on, it's, it's the movie industry. Like, they have a... a, a hold on things and stuff uh okay it looks like we're going to need to grab some more of that fuel but we'll just drop a couple of these crappy things in there that we don't really care about right now um we can actually just pull some fuel directly out of here um but yeah we'll want to go back to our storage system and grab those but what i want to do right now is just extend out our thermal power just a little bit more so Thank Google you. says fair use is the right to copy a portion of a copyrighted work without permission because your use is for a limited purpose. Yes. However, you know, when it comes to copyright, uh, you know, it the whole world got turned upside down. Well, neener, neener. Something, 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 uh, Prince of Bella. Or... <laughs> okay, so we're um, putting a, a little bit more. Eh, maybe. 
So we're putting a little bit more of this energetic graphite into this thermal power station, and this thermal power station is going to pull off of it. So that should add us a little bit of capacity right off the bat. Yeah, you can see by adding two more of those, it added more than like eight of these wind turbines would have added. These are only producing 300 kilowatts. The wind turbines are producing, oh wait, no, the, sorry, the wind turbines are producing 300 kilowatts. The thermal power is producing 2.16 megawatts. Yeah, so it's over so, seven times. That's a lot of numbers. Yeah. Numbers is Are hard. there screenshot noises in the stream? Um, I don't. No. No? I don't think so. I don't recall. Maybe it's just me smacking my lips you're hearing. I don't know. Maybe. It's either that or it might be... Or it could be the cat. Could be Jaeger. Yeah, it's probably Jaeger like chewing on things because he's a cat. He does he's that definitely kind of doing that right now. Yes, he yeah. is. Looks like we're running a little bit low on... Um, Yep. Jaeger. Of course, he's got to go chewing on things. Oh, wait, I was doing that right. doing you know. that right to the mic. I know. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Just trying to, like, flick my fingers to, like, get the cat Ooh. to, like, stop. Just trying to flick your fingers at the... Flicking the bean? What? Um, I was going to say at the pussy, but, you know. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, fuel. <laughs> Gas? Sure. Sure. Um, okay, so we beefed up a little bit more of that. <laughs> um, okay, heading back over to our oil production. And what were we starting to set up? Oh, yeah, we were starting to work towards our science, our red science. And the red science packs are going to need both helium. And they're also going to use some of those uh, uh, energetic graphites. So I believe that there was another perfect right over here. So we're going to use this coal vein over here. And we got to build a couple more miners. Yeah, I'm going to set up some automated, like, creating these buildings uh, shortly. We're going to start doing that as soon as we kind of get this science up and going. Because we want all these things to be automated. We, won't, we don't want to keep making these things by hand. It's a pain in the ass. I'd rather be able, you know, have something automated. It's going to create, like one stack of them, always drop them in a cargo box. So I can just kind of pull them out, you know, and then just let them produce themselves. Let them self-replicate and stuff. Okay, so let's see here, whoops, oopsies. What'd you do now? I don't know, things and stuff. Things, stuff, things. Okay, let's see, trying to get the most out of my money and that's about it, the best we're going to do. We could drop a we, we don't have any more wind mind. turbines, but that's fine. I'm not going to produce any more. There we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of coal coming out. And, all right, so how do we want to do this? Um, yeah, we're going to... Oh, wait, we got copper right over here. This is probably going to be a lot of oil and stuff. So I guess what we can do is we'll actually come over here and we'll start getting our... Wow, am I running low on power or something? Oh no, just my character's really slow, that's all. Yeah, later later on we'll get some research to kind of speed up the speed of our character. Um, Alright, so let's see what's going here. And come across... Oh, looks like we don't have enough of those. But what I'm going to do is we're going to run this... We're going to bring that over here. So we're not producing it too close to this because we want to make sure we leave plenty of room to um, expand, rebuild things, like whatever else we would possibly need. So let's just go ahead and produce a whole ton of these. And I could have sworn I was producing um, belts already, but I guess I'm not. I remember you talking about it. I know. I, I Yeah, I was talking about I mean, I was talking about a lot of things, should. but yeah, I should. Because it was really up, annoying, yeah. and then I think you got sidetracked on Me? Something. I got sidetracked? That's impossible. Just like me failing English. Unpossible. It's inconceivable. I don't think that word means what you think it means. Are you sure? No. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. We're not producing nearly enough of this iron, so let's, uh, let's double up these smelters a little bit more. That's the big thing was with these style games. It's just a whack-a-mole. You know, you get one supply or one 
system, you know, kind of beefed up, and then you got to do the next one. All right, that's going to drive me OCD nuts. Arr, matey, it's driving me OCD nuts. Wait, you have OCD nuts? Wow. Is that like the brand name or just, anyway. Um, okay, so dropping uh, those sorters in place so they're in the middle. And yeah, here's a little weird graphical bug, but it's because of the way that the uh, planet is stitched together. Uh, I mean, there's going to be times when the lines don't always line exactly up. Like if I would have went down this here, it would have been a straight line. But because of the fact that I went across the boundary, you could see that it kind of like goes off to the side. But that's because, remember, we are, um, you know, producing a, or we're taking a round shape and putting it on a flat map. Hey, no, no, no. We're on a flat earth. No, we're not. <laughs> um... <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever to say to respond, and I failed. But anyway. Um, okay, so let's let those continue to go. Okay, let's produce a couple more of these. And then once we have this kind of built out, we will go back and uh, automate some um, of that. Isn't that a very descriptive word? That is... That. Just that. You have to know exactly what I mean by that. That. What's that mean? Yes. Yes. Yersh? Yersh. Yersh. <laughs> okay. Dropping another smelter there. And here's some energetic uh, graphite. Graph gra graphite. And ev ever, ever, right. I still don't understand that. What is the energetic graphite used for? Is it an energy source? It is. It can be used as energy source. You can put it in your. You can put it in your box. I mean, fuel chamber, mm. and you can see that the energetic graphite will ends up being uh, six point three megajoules and uh, sixty percent uh, of your fuel chamber regenerate. Do you know what a megajoule is? No. Do you know what a joule is? Not particularly. I know it's a measurement of energy of some sort, but yep. yeah, that's exactly what it is. But I don't know, like the quantitative form of it, what it means is mega like a thousand. It's the number of, uh, I believe it's the number of watt hours. That's a lot of watts. It's really not actually. <laughs> what? 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 Jaeger, stop it. Uh, He's going to drive me crazy, isn't he? Really? Oh, of course. I don't know where he keeps finding this plastic. I do. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to talk about those things on the stream. This is a family-friendly show, sort of. You notice how quiet she suddenly got? <laughs> okay, so now that we're producing some of these things, that's great. Are you insinuating I'm usually noisy? You? You can be, yeah. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Wait, okay. I don't know what we're talking about, sorry. I do. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dropping some more sorters here. Oh, wait, we don't have sorters. This is another thing we have to automate is our sorters, because I'm tired of making those by hand. Essentially, what we're going to do during these this next phase, we're going to try to automate as many of these base items as we can. We don't want to spend the whole stream just automating some of these base things, but trust me, it, it saves a lot of time. Yeah, you know, sometimes you sit there and think, ah, it's only going to take like, you know, 10 seconds to produce this when I need it. But then you... Oh, excuse me. You're excused. Don't die on me. I'm going to try not to. But then when you add those 10 seconds up over the course of, like, you know, an entire stream, you realize that you end up spending a lot of time for reasons. And I don't remember what I was talking about. It must not have been important. Uh, you were talking about how much time it takes to um, do things like make sorters manually oh, compared yeah. to automating them. Yeah, just have them automated, trust me. Like, I, I was kind of lazy about it in my first game. But trust me, I'm starting to regret it a lot in my first game. And... It's either I can go back and like kind of fix a lot of that or, you know, I've been replaying it again from a different map because I want to um, 
I'm, make, I'm experimenting with a couple of different layouts. But all right, now that we have these being produced, let's go ahead and we're gonna run these. We have to run them all the way to the other side where our coal is, but I do wanna set up a buffer here before we go too far with it. Okay, there we go. Buffer, buffer, buffer. There we go. Uh, yeah, I guess we should use the Mark II buffer there, or sorter. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll put this here. Yeah, these particular, um, so these, uh, the wireless power towers do not have the range for powering up systems around it. But the great thing is that while you stand underneath it, it'll regen power on your character. Mm. Um, it just takes it off the power grid, which could be good or could be bad. But at this stage, when the fact that, you know, just like going from where I am right now to like right there would just basically take up all the fuel I have on me. It's really nice during those times. <laughs> so we're continuing to work towards our blue, or excuse me, excuse me, red science. We almost have the things that we need for our red science. So let's go ahead and start producing some of these. There we go. And I don't know if I produce enough of these. Oh wait, I guess we already had some of these matrix labs. Okay, cool. So we have our helium kind of coming out over here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll come out all the way over here maybe. I wanna see where our science labs are. Yeah, so what we can do is we can set up over here. We'll set up our um, production of red science and then we'll kind of bring it down over into here or either that or the other option is we could put, take all the resources from over here and bring it down there and then combine it over here. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually produce it off site because once we get the logistics robots, we can have them kind of bring it all around the planet as need be. So since I have the, the helium kind of coming out of here, is this helium or is this hydrogen? I forgot. Does helium or hydrogen have only one atom? Who cares? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Do I look like a girl that graduated high school to you? I don't know. Sure. I, I, no. No. Okay. Mm well, I, I don't know offhand, so. Uh, that that anyway. must be when you unlock the basic chemical knowledge. When yeah. We, we exactly. haven't finished the research, that's why. We don't know what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I think it is helium, isn't it? Cause it's I don't remember my atom. periodic table of elements. No, oh, it is hydrogen. It is hydrogen. Okay, good. Mm, see, I'm glad I didn't agree with you. Yep, well, nobody should ever agree with me anyway, because I'm usually always wrong. All right, so now that we have our hydrogen or helium, whatever one we decide it was. Was I supposed to disagree? What? Really, chi <sighs> really, child? You came over here and found the bag that I took away. Oh, my God. This cat is something else some days, I'll I, tell I you. I literally took it away. He came over here, and he searched for a piece of trash that he mm -hmm. could chew on. That's what he does. He'll take it out of the garbage. He'll take it out of people's butts. He'll do anything you need. Wait, what? All right, so we're going to put a matrix lab over here. Jaeger, you're a cute cat. Come here. Jaeger is, in fact, a very cute cat. And anybody who disagrees should be fired out of out a cannon, of cannon into, into the, the sun. sun. Okay, so we're going to drop a couple of matrix labs here. So this is going to produce our red science. And let's go ahead and drop this here. Oh, hmm. oh boy, boy. The Jaeger kitty. Oh, little Jaeger face. What if the Jaeger face wants to come lay on my chair? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I'd pick him up, but you know, nah. that's a 10% chance for failure. Yeah, it, with all this stuff around here right now, no, I wouldn't pick him yeah, up. That would be, saying. yeah. That would be, that'd be a bad idea. Yeah. That would be bad. I'm fuzzy about this whole good bad thing. What do you mean bad? What do you mean good? What are we talking oh. about? Have you never seen the movie Ghostbusters? Uh, oh my god, she ago. hasn't seen Ghostbusters. I have. It's been a really <gasps> oh long time. Oh my god, oh, she shush. just admitted to never seeing Ghostbusters. I did oh, no such thing. Oh my god. I'm going to give you something to say oh my god about. Really? Yeah. Before or after the flogger. What? Um, okay, so we're going to take our <laughs> energetic 
thingies from over here. That yeah. is also sexual. <laughs> <laughs> that one was also sexual. <laughs> We watch a lot of Family Guy around here. <laughs> I watch a lot of Family Guy in general, so. Family Guy, Futurama, Adult Swim. Yep. Yeah. Well, not really so much Adult Swim itself because they're still on cable and I don't have cable anymore, so. I mean, they do have like a, um, they have an app where you can download a lot of the crap, but, it, you know, there's ads and, um, I'm a in weeb. my professional opinion, yeah. no. I'm a weeb, so I just... I just watch Crunchyroll. You're a noob? We, we knew that. I'm yeah, sorry, I, what? Yeah. You're, you're what? not wrong. I didn't say I was wrong. I did. Alright, so we're connecting the sorter in here, and we're going to get this energetic thingy over here. <laughs> but, you know, we should produce a couple more of these repli um, Tesla towers, because this thing is just not long enough to cover the whole area. Is that really a Tesla tower? So it's a free energy collecting device? Uh, well, a Tesla Tower Tesla. was not a free energy collecting device. The was. Tesla Tower was used as a wireless distribution of energy mechanism. Okay, well, I thought that the there was a technology that he had thought that he could gather energy out of the air, out of the atmosphere, and that those were the towers. Um, but those are the transmission devices. Okay. Yes, but the, I know what you're talking about. There yeah. was another thing he was doing. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. Well, that's why he was murdered. So, there is an interesting thing that I want to point out. It took me a little bit to kind of figure this out, but when you go to drop down a power pole, you look at it and go, oh, well, this should cover everything. It, you know, covers a little bit of the building on that corner. It covers the two sorters. No. When you actually have this item in your hand, you'll notice that all of the buildings get these little circles put near them. When your uh, electric's going to cover them, the little thing goes oh. in the white dot. So now you can figure out exactly how far you really need to go with it. However, it will not show you ones that already have it lit up. So for example, if I were to drop this one right here, clone it, grab another one, well guess what? It doesn't show that those are already lit up. Or wait, does it? Wait, maybe it does. Oh wait, it does. Okay, so you see they're gray. And then now when I drop this one down, yep, they're blue. Okay, so they do. So I'm wrong. Don't mind me. Ignore me. Well, isn't that what we usually do? Well, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. All right, good. Just now we're sure. producing some of these red ones. And we're going to uh, set up a belt to take it out. And guess what we're going to set up on this belt right here? Belts? No. What's the thing that I keep saying? Oh, a buffer. buffer. Set up a little buffer here, a little buffer there. Here, a buffer, there, a buffer, everywhere, a buffer. Yeah, if anybody hasn't guessed, I haven't played this yet, so I'm, I'm having She has a, not played it yet. I'm having um, a difficult she's time only watched me actually play. Even doing. Actually, I didn't even get a chance to do that. I tried to watch you last week and had well stuff come up. Yeah. Anyway. So now we have our uh, red Ooh. matrix labby things coming out. Those are bright. Um, they are pretty bright. Cool. There we go. Yeah, and good. now we can start running this over to where our, um, let's see, our labs are all the way down over here. So we'll just kind of run it eh, going across kind of this way. <laughs> Gesundheit, Jaeger. Jaeger face sneezing. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to definitely automate the building of these things because yeah, building them by hand is kind of annoying. Well, why don't we do that? Because you keep I saying know it. I keep complaining about it. Well, I said I was gonna do it as soon as I was done running this thing, but this is gonna be so long. I was waiting for a how long is it? I couldn't think of a, a witty comeback for that. That was it. That was your witty comeback was. Witty comeback? No. It's a pretty weak comeback. It is pretty weak. Um, okay, so this is going to require two iron plates. Oh, wait, is it? I'm sorry, iron ingots and one, one uh, gear. So we are producing our gears right over here. We are producing our iron ingots right over here. So I think what we're going to do is... 
No, we're not going to do that. Um, there was a horn that beeped going by. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the iron gears out of here. We're going to let this line continue doing its thing. We're going to grab some of the metal off of here, and we're going to connect this over here, and we're going to build our... Um, thingy. Our thingy over here, yes. That that technical term. Yes, it's a highly very technical. highly technical, technically term. Let's go ahead and drop. Uh, oh wait, can't put that in place yet because it didn't finish building. There we go. Still have to produce a couple more of these by hand, and we'll probably need some power over here. And this is another thing we're gonna have to automate. My nose is itchy again. Have you tried itching it? Uh, no, that would make things worse. You want a spoon? There is no spoon. There is no spoon. It's a there lie. There is no spoon. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That, that was the cake. That's the cake. That's a lie. The cake is a the lie. The cake is yeah. a lie. The spoon is... A My iPod is a chocolate? Okay, so actually I don't want to run that that far up because we're going to connect this line right here over to our line that will be used for whatever the hell I was just creating. I don't remember. Um, okay, so let's drop down a assembly machine right here. And then we can use two. Yeah, let's use Mark twos. So we can use one kind of come in from here and one coming across. And this will be for our gears kind of coming through. Yeah, right now these uh, drones are a little bit slow. I only have four of them. There's an upgrade later on. I think I can get two more of them. And I also can get them to go a lot faster too. Um, I think there's something about like battery life for them or something. Or maybe I'm just making that up out of my mind. I don't know. My mind seems to make things up a lot. I personally blame PJ. Uh, it's obviously PJ's uh, fault. Huh, Just me. checking uh, YouTube to see if there's any uh, additional comments, but no. Still very sad that I missed Audrey's comment on there about meow. I uh, was I really got to get the uh, comment set up on the other screen so I can make sure that I don't miss comments again. Uh, I really feel bad about it. Uh, eh, okay, yeah, you can see, uh, by the way, um, yeah, you could see that was from the chat. That was uh, the notifications coming through about things and stuff and mm. what have you. Okay, so we're going to have this produce um, conveyor belts. Perfect. Those are now being created automagically, which is amazing. That's funny. Uh, okay, and then we're going to, you know, we're going to also need some electronic circuits. Or sorry, just circuit boards in order to create sorter mark ones. Where are our circuit boards? Um, oh yeah, they're all the way down over here. So I guess we should probably run those over because that is also something we're going to want to automate. And I guess for the time being, let's put this into a buffer box. <laughs> box. Buffer. <laughs> all right, good. There we go. Perfect. Good. Good. Good, good. You're not helping! Blame Gary. Yes, it's Gary's fault. It is always Gary's fault. Okay, so let's see. Electronic circuits. Uh, one of the things that's running a little bit low is our uh, iron ingot is uh, running a little bit slow right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more sorter there to start trying to get those out a little bit faster. Actually, we should probably just add one more just for sh shits and giggles. There we go. Now it'll be spitting out a lot more of that. So I really don't um, feel that anybody ever was like shitting and giggling unless they were like six months old. You'd be surprised. Ha PJ, serious question for you. Have you ever shat and giggled at the same time? I mean, seriously, like I'm sure you have. I mean, this is PJ we're talking about here, so we, we, everything is possible. Do we know PJ in real life? Yes, I know PJ in real life. Okay. You don't know PJ in real life, but I know PJ is this real life? in real life. No, this is just fantasy. This is fantasy. Well, that explains 
things. That explains lots of things. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Actually, no. Wait, PJ, do I actually know you, IRL? I don't know. Who are you? How'd you get this number? Don't call here again. I am Adam Wee. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see here. We're just yeah. running electronic circuits over there so we can automate some of our sorter production. Ship. Yeah. Uh, ship my pants only when drunk. <laughs> ship your pants only when drunk. That is an amazing statement, I just have to say. Yeah. And leave it to PJ to have that to be the most accurate statement of all the statements that he's ever statemented. Okay, still run this over there. We are close to having enough to automate the sorters. But the good thing is we are still producing some of these, so we won't have to keep producing those by hand, finally. He's always shipping things when he drinks, says Amy. Yes, well, that's true. Um, PJ is... Oh, PJ. If that statement doesn't make any sense to you, then you don't know PJ. I don't, so it doesn't make any sense but to me. But did you know that if you go to it's all P is pjdrunk.com, it will tell you the likelihood based on an actual algorithm that I may or may not have developed that tries to determine whether he is currently intoxicated or not. However, to be fair, that... What's wrong with you? Yeah, she's really bored. However, the interesting thing is that the that algorithm was actually developed during a time when PJ used to work. And based on when we heard the last time PJ worked... 2014. It was developed a long time ago, so unfortunately that algorithm is kind of out of date. Um, but yes, the algorithm at one point was pretty fairly accurate. Uh, I don't know if KO is actually on the stream or not, but if he is not, then, mm. or if he is, I don't know, he might be on the YouTube stream, but if he is, I'm sure KO would, uh, would, would math or something, I don't know. Has that site been updated for time zones? Oh, PJ has no, a drinking it schedule now. Uh, PJ? Uh, are you calling to get rid of this funny little drinking problem you got here? She, she doesn't get it, but I'll explain it to her uh, when she's older. I, I'll play some of the tricky boys for her later so she can she can understand it. She just watched Weird Science for the first time last night. Mm -hmm. How'd you think of Weird Science? It was good. It took me a minute. We were high. <gasps> I never get God. high all the time high when you're over. God. I never get high all the time when you're over. Yeah. We were high on the word of God and singing praises. No, to... don't lie about that. Okay, yeah, that's, I'm sorry. That's hurt. uncalled for. No. It really actually hurt. Like, yeah, that's... It hurt me right here. That that made me almost vomit everywhere. Same, same. Would you really want to clean that up? No. Okay. Anyway. All right, so now we got electronic sorters going, and we're going to... Uh, we're going to limit the number of these sorters we're going to create. Uh, we're only going to limit it to three stacks of them. Um... Because we don't want to waste a lot of resources creating something that, um, yeah. And because we created this so close to that copper setup, we will probably end up having to move these at some point. Eh, whatever. It's okay for right now. <laughs> I didn't notice it till now, but, you know, it, it happens. It's all good. You know, whatever. This one, we will let that create up to, um, actually, no, we'll probably limit this as well. We're going to limit it a little bit higher, and that's only because the first set of the uh, components will be used towards uh, Mark II of creating those. Okay, we've got plenty of that. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, uh, Amy said, is Word of God a sativa or indica? And I was trying yes. to remember which. Yes. It's a hybrid. Hybrid, okay. Ooh, speaking of which. PJ is cheesing their effing brains out. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. Can you go get me one of the gummies from the other room and just a gummy? Just a gummy. Just the gummies. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of gummies I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. The gummies. The gummy gummies. The gummies. I don't know if you wanted any gummies either. I like gummies. She likes gummies. Gummies are yummies. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. 
Oh, Welcome to a Bananarama, where it's party time all the time. Oh my god, she's humping the back of my chair. Oh, hi. What? What? Huh? What? So yeah, we're running our uh, line for our, um, for our red science down here right now. Wow, these drones are so slow. How slow are they? Very, very slow. Okay, so we're going to let our drones kind of go through and create those as I decide to figure out which is going to be our next thing we're going to research. And now that we finally got um, our red, we can... There's a bunch of other things we can produce now. Uh, we don't quite need Logistics 3 just yet. Titanium um, smelting will be uh, kind of nice, but let's see what kind of upgrades we can do. Oh yeah, being able to go a little bit faster would definitely be very good. So we're going to go ahead and activate that research right now. And you'll notice it's only going to research two of them, but then it's going to halt because... Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, you're killing me. That. What? He did that. I know. Um, <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> me being overly dramatic? Never. Alright, so, um, but yeah, you might have noticed that it did a little bit of research and then stopped, but that's because it was using Cocaine just a couple a of them that... It was using just a couple, a little bit of the research that was on my, um, that was in my inventory, and then, um, because there was none actually in the machine yet, how do you know about the device? The machine. Um, the machine, yeah. All right, so now that we connect that in there. Would you like one? Mm-hmm. Can I have one? Mm -mm. Yeah, we're being super gay. Just deal. Stand by. You're cute. And you know what's great? Is that since it's delayed, I can watch it like a second later. <laughs> mm -hmm. These gummies are so good. Anyway. I shouldn't be chewing it during a stream. What but is this? Is, is this now? Or is this then? When will now be then? When will now be then? Now? Soon. Soon. How soon? Now? Mm-hmm. And what are we watching mm. now? <laughs> Everything that happens now is happening now. <laughs> I was waiting for the next line. I don't but know. I, guess I couldn't remember it. When will now be, be then? then? Okay. Soon. How soon? My head hurts. Wow. <laughs> See, yeah, I know space balls really, really well. Space balls? I've only seen space balls like, mm, that was probably the fourth time I'd ever seen it. Well, if you're dating me, I guarantee you will double that number in the next few months. Oh, am I dating you? I, th I hope so. <laughs> I thought it was all just hot, dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so grabbing some more sorters out of here. And the great thing is we now have a full stack of the sorters. Actually, we just dropped that one back in there. It's great. We now have a full stack of the sorters. And we can grab some conveyor belts. Just grab them right out of there. That's perfect. And it doesn't matter that this production is a little bit slow. We can just let that be slow in the background. It's totally okay. And um, let's see. There were some other things that we wanted to automate. Because they were kind of generating kind of slow. Let's see. Are we producing motors? Um, we are not producing motors. For motors, we need... Oh, it's an electric motor, to be to be honest. It's, so we need iron ingots, we need gears, and we need um, magnetic coils. There's technically no gears in a in a motor. Uh, it depends. Well, a motor is electric. Well, is it? Would you consider a servo to be a motor? Okay, but that 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 doesn't count. Yeah, suddenly it doesn't count. That doesn't that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. it, got, it does count. Because okay. a servo is a type of motor. It just happens to use a, a lot of gears for production. Anyway. All right. So let's grab, uh, I don't know. Do we need any glass right now? We don't. Um, but we should. Let's see here. 
Oh, wait, what was it I was going to produce? Motors. You're going to produce motors. Yeah, we should start producing a couple of prisms while we're over oh, here. I thought you were making motors. I'm sorry. I was, but I just realized that we need to make some prisms, too. Oh. So, you know, my OCD. Moon power prism. <laughs> yes. Yes, gentlemen. Yersh? 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 I told you I'm a weeb, so, you know, I... I You're a noob, see. what? Yeah. Yes, I'm that too. Fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. Fine, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'll I'll be whatever I want to do. All right, so we're taking a little bit of the glass out of there. We're gonna drop it oh, into that's... here. We're Can gonna produce water. some prisms. Yeah, up. Luckily, prisms will actually generate pretty quickly. Um, come on up. Sorry, one second. Kitty. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come I'll here. Move. It's okay. Come here now. Oh, okay. I have a Jaeger on my lap now. I don't know if he wants to stay on my lap or he wants to get up on the back of the chair. I guess we'll find out. But if you can see the Jaeger, you can say hi to the Jaeger. Otherwise, if you can't see the Jaeger, then uh, you can't see the Jaeger. Oh, it's SNL time. Yeah, it's because you're on the East Coast. Yeah, you people are weird. East Coast. Um, yeah, anyway. All right, so we're going to, um, bye you two. Thank you for stopping by. Um, bye. Bye you alls. Okay, so I was trying to find a storage, but we don't have an extra one. So we got to come back over here and grab some more uh, iron ingots because we just didn't have enough on us at the moment. Oh. That's an iron ingot. Well, I was trying to put this down for you. But we're trying to, oh, thank you. You're I was welcome. like, what, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, woman? And then, oh, that, yeah, that's, okay, great. Just thank trying you. to help you, you know. She was just trying to help me, and here I am being rude and, you know, my normal self. And Wait, what? Did you just get me to call myself rude? How rude? Um. <laughs> uh, okay, back over to here to making prisons. I mean, prisons. Prisons, yes. That's, that's where I belong. You, you belong in a prism? Well, horny jail. Oh, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll bail you out later. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you can see that the prisms take two seconds for two of them. PJ so that means using a level one sorter is not going to be nearly fast enough. We have to use a level two sorter. What does PJ say? I want to make a snow cat, but it's 14 degrees out. Um, you know what? Do you know what the temperature is in San Francisco right now? It's not 14 degrees. It's That's 54 degrees. That's all that matters. Oh, oh, it is no. not 14. Okay. No, no, it's... It... Yeah. yeah. It, it could be pretty much any other temperature except for 14 degrees. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it could be 13, just not 14. 14, that's... It's not good. That really would be bad. No bueno. Anyway. Okay, so we got the prisms being created. That's awesome. We're going to probably want to pull some out of there at some point. But for right now, we'll just let those kind of like, yep, go into that storage container. Cool. Hi, Yeager. He's licking my arm. Hi, Yeager. Yeager is a cat. Boop, boop. Okay, so for some reason our... Oh, wait, is this because it's filled up? Oh, wait, we don't have a research currently going. That might be why our research is slowed and stopped. Uh, so, yeah, getting um, the mech... Uh, core up another bit little bit so it'll be 240 megajoules more power which is great because you save that up and then um it allows you just i mean it's a little bit more capacity i don't know what else to say beyond that it's just it's good it's a good thing to have uh so to unlock the mech solar cells we need to also have um the drive engine perfect what are you showing me Yes. Um, um, yeah. it's, <coughs> it's, it's another targeted Facebook ad. Once again, same as the other one. UFO. <coughs> Person being abducted. Get in, loser. We're doing butt stuff. <laughs> and, and apparently Facebook knows me well. What? I do have to get it set up so I can uh, have some occasional memes that I can share directly on the screen. I just oh, yeah, don't, that'd be nice. I don't quite have that set up just yet. It's something I have to do. Jaeger, just lay here and be a fuzzy face. 
He's purring so much. He likes to lay on me all the time. All right, so coming back over here, we can see that our uh, our red science production is a little bit slow, and that's because our hydrogen production is a little bit slow. So we should go ahead and we should create another one of these. And by another one of these, I mean create probably two more of them. But that's more than another one. I know, it's two things -ism. Add another sorter onto here. Jaeger oh. wants to talk. <laughs> I don't know if you could actually hear him just purring there, but he was like sniffing up towards the mic. He was like, you know, doing that cat thing that cats do. You know, cat this looks thing. really good when you're looking down at the cat and I have my arm over here. Oh, yeah, and your just arm is just, yeah, I know. It looks like you might be doing something else, but I promise you, folks, she's not doing that thing that it looks like she's doing that she might not really, she doing what? I mean, although there oh, is... Oh, plasma extractor there. exciters. That was the other thing that I wanted to start automating. That was part of the reason why I started creating the, uh, the prism, so we'll automate that next. Basically, we want to automate every single thing that we can. We really don't want to be producing things by hand. Assembly machines, smelters, everything. 69 degrees, SPJ? 69? Uh, I, it's not quite that warm, but, I mean, um, stuff. Yeah, all right. So, unfortunately, this was built a little bit too close to it, so we're going to have to kind of build that out there. And then this is another one of those issues with the way that the planet kind of wraps around about how the, the planet is round yeah i know if this was a flat earth it would be so much easier don't you think it really would be yeah because then when you reach the edge then you can just flip around and you can build under <laughs> well no that's that's what okay well th th if there's a flat <laughs> earth then, then what's on the other side of the flat earth the turtle Okay. You, you don't you didn't know I, I, that there's the turtle or the pillars that are holding us up? Yeah. That's what they claim at least yeah. some ridiculous. Yeah. You have to be pretty brain dead to believe in flat earth honestly. I don't know. I'm pretty brain dead. Don't underestimate pretty, how yes. brain dead I am. All right, we're producing a little bit more um Oh wait, we have to add a l or another inserter here. Sometimes, sometimes copying the sorters um, are not as accurate as I'd like them to be. Sorry, my nose is itching really badly again tonight. You want tissue? No, it's all good. You got hairs all over your mouth. and. I do? Yeah, yeah you, you legitimately have hair on the cat. Oh, that Just explains why my nose is so itchy. It's because there's, like, cat hairs on me. Well, yep. that explains a lot. Well, it's because you petted the cat, and then you scratched your nose, and you made uh, it worse. So basically, to sum up, what she just said is reasons. Yes, reasons. For And reasons. now I'm watching myself explain the reasons on the other camera, on the other screen. You're not supposed to watch yourself on camera. What camera? There's a camera. What are we talking about? Who? Who? What are you fucking out? Owl? All right, so got our hydrogen going a little bit faster again. Now our science is starting to uh, push them out a little bit quicker, which is good. Now let's head back over to uh, where our prism was, so we can start grabbing some of those prisms, bring it over to somewhere. Hi, Eager. He's giving me a little love bite still. Um, and then we can start creating some of those plasma. Ex oh, excuse me. Plasma exciters. Sorry about that. Well, that's going to look really... Yep. <laughs> okay, that was funny. We just looked at the stream like half a second or like a second or two after it happened. Yeah, whatever. You're not supposed to do that. I know. I'm not supposed to, but it happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and automate our um, plasma exciters. Um, we're going to need some of the... Oh, good thing is that we unlocked... Um, Mech sale, so that means that we can actually go to the other planet soon. Oh, we can? 
We can, yeah. I mean, we're it's going to be difficult because we don't have the logistics set up, but we can at least um, set up a miner out there to start grabbing some of the silicon, silicone, whatever. I don't know which one it is. Start dropping in a storage bucket, and we can make some, you know, trips back there manually, so at least we can pick it up that in titanium. Um, it's better than trying to convert the rock into um, the silicon, which just takes forever. Uh, okay, so you can see we're producing a lot of these prisms. Mm. So let's go ahead and drop an assembler right here. Grab this, drop it here. I think we're only going to, yeah, we're only going to create one of these. We're not going to go too overboard with this right now. Because we just don't need these. I mean, we're going to use them for building stuff right now. But we're not going to be using it for uh, anything more than, oh, God. No wonder my face is, yeah, there's cat hair everywhere. Yeah, Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to drop it into a storage thing so we can just kind of pull it out as needed. Um, I was waiting for her to say something about that, but pull it out as needed. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still laughing about your face being covered. In She's still acid. laughing at my face. Yeah, yes. see? Yes. See? Yes. I can't blame her. I look at my face all the time, and I vomit all the time. That's why I vomit so much, is because I look at my face all the time. <laughs> okay, so we need to grab some uh, magnetic coils and bring them over. Um, let's see, they are over here. I just realized I look like a real bitch on camera. The facial expressions I'm oh, making when you're talking. Resting sometimes. bitch face. Yeah. I I definitely. Have <laughs> well, when you say certain things. It, it, it makes me look even more bitchy than I realized. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty well, bitchy. you know. I actually don't know. What are we talking about? What? Huh? Who? Where? Who? Who? What? Were you an owl? Yeah. Oh. Hmm? That makes sense. All right, so now we're running over some of uh, these magnetic coils. If you're and an you can owl, see I that I did expand the uh, amount of storage for those magnetic coils, because once it does fill up with the... Uh, um, excited uh thingies i forgot what the hell they were something that was excited um excited graphite energized graphite no we already took care of the energized oh, graphite oh. this is the um energized plasma or pla oh plasma exciter plasma yeah. exciter okay yeah it's really excited plasma okay does your does your plasma get excited only when it's coursing through my veins <laughs> Thought you were going to say something else. But anyway, all right, so we're going to let our drones build a little bit of that. We're going to come over. We're going to drop a couple into here ourselves. Let it produce some of those. That comment was also sexual. It really was. And we can actually probably get rid of a little bit oh. of this because we don't really need it. Oh, it looks like we need to grab some more energy. Well, I've been running out of energy pretty frequently in this stream. Have you tried Monster? Have I tried Monster? No, I don't like Monster. Thank you. I mean, for your robot. Oh, for the robot. Um, no, I haven't tried Monster Energy Drink for the robot. But is, is I have a feeling. Is that going to be a mod that they schedule for the future? You think? Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Now the question is, can I make it over there before we run out of power? Yes, I did. Yay. Luckily, I had a little bit of um, spare fuel on me, so I was able to uh, just kind of drop it in there. I was able to, like, put it in there. Mm. So let's see. The refined oil has a 30%. Um, oh, wait, it's almost gone, but it's it's not regening that fast. But you see, as soon as it switches over to the energetic um, graphite, because it has a 60% faster, it'll start to go through a lot faster. Bigger numbers mean faster regen rate. Okay, good. Those are going. Eh, we're not really going to have enough fuel to kind of um, fly the whole way there. We will have to walk a little bit. Okay, I don't know what's up with that graphical bug. That's weird. Oh, wait, that's because my drones have to go out and, like, do things. Go, drones, drones. Go do your thing. Yeah, like, well, I mean, there's a certain limit to how far they can go out and, like, you know, do their thing. Hmm. There they go. Now they're building the rest of it. That'll bring some of the magnetic coils down over to this other side where we're, I'm going to have my plasma exciter. Oh, exciting. It's it's in a very exciting plasma exciter. Do you know how... Ex I don't know. Um, 
<laughs> You're cute. That's okay. No, no, no. Yeah. That, yes, that's, yes. That's, that's you. That's you. Okay, so those are kind of coming through. Let's see where we're going to actually run them to. Uh, I guess we'll have to run them over to through here. And the reason, oh, because unfortunately you can't flip them around after you place them. That's why I'm kind of creating it from the other side first. Oh, excuse me. I'm Your excuse, what'd you do, fart? I do no such thing. She didn't like know how to did. answer that. I never fart on a Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you calling me a liar or something? No, I'm calling you a farter. Oh. Yeah. What? Yes. Who? Who? All right. So let's see. Actually, I guess I didn't really need to create that that far over. So let's go ahead and delete some of these. Now uh, we'll delete the rest of those in just a moment. Let's first figure out exactly where we want to run these. I'm just going to be basically running it up through here. Now, I mean, I guess I didn't really need to. I could have just kind of moved this thing down this way and they kind of went through. It's just kind of an OCD thing. I like to have everything lined up the best I can. Uh, oh, I actually got that okay. one perfect. That was great. Mm. So let's go ahead and you know get rid of this. It also does reduce the amount of materials that you use um, without actually like fully utilizing all those materials. You don't want to waste materials early in the game. Later on in the game, you could do all sorts of weird, fun things with things. But early in the game, you generally don't want to do that. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so let's take our sorter, drop it in there, so these can start producing. Um, so it looks like, oh, so that's four for uh, one of those. So we will actually have to change this out to a Mark II. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of that. That was a complete accident. Let's change that out to a Mark II, so that'll be a little bit quicker getting those in there. And since this one's a Mark I sorter, um, if for some reason it's running a little bit slow, the other one's running slow, or this one just can't really keep up enough anyway, so... Or maybe it is. Okay, ignore everything I just said. It doesn't make any sense anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I don't want to put these... Eh, I guess I can put this one right here. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and place that over here. Well, first let's run this over here. But I'm kind of spreading things out a little bit, so if I need to, you know, change things around a little bit later in the future, we have some room to kind of move things around. We don't want to build too tight of an area with everything in such a tight spot, because then it'll be really difficult for us to work with by the time we unlock the next level of science, which will be, um, science. I think it's green? Science. I gotta get up. Oof. Did I, I blind you with science? Need something like that. I blinded her with science. Okay, where are these things going? Oh wait, they're dropping into, oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. I already had this here. Wait, why am I creating this like this? No, this is ridiculous. I didn't need to create this. I realized after the fact that this should not have been created there. I hooked up the wrong things. Uh, I forgot that I already had that one thing hooked up in there. Plus, you know, talking to Brittany and stuff. I don't know, I'm coming up with excuses on why I didn't notice it. Is there any, are any of them working? All right, so our plasma exciters are now being created. We'll pull a couple out of there, out of the stack. And let's see, what is the next thing we want to automate? So we will want to automate our uh, micro crystalline component, but we're going to definitely need a lot more silicon for that. And we're going to want to go to the other planet for that. Um, sulfuric acid is definitely something we're going to have to work on pretty soon. Um, but I'm just trying to get as many of these base things as I can. We are producing our sorters automatically. We're producing... Eh, we're producing a few things automatically. But let's go through and automate a little bit more of these base things. We'll pick well, like one or two more things and we'll do that. And then we'll go back to building the base a little bit. Because we don't want to spend all of our time in a row just kind of building all the base items. We want to continue to move forward. But we have to take these little pauses to kind of improve our supply. If our, you know, a particular thing is just running a little bit slow, we work on it, we improve it. And then we move on to the other areas. If you try to rush too hard, um, you could end up in a worse spot than, um, than you had to begin with. Okay, so you can see right now that our... 
hydrogen production is a little bit slow, but that's because our storage container over here is starting to fill up. I mean, it's about halfway right now. So we're gonna build another one of these storage containers here. And um, that will allow us to have an additional overflow because that will be filling up, but that's okay because we're gonna be using that stuff to make plastic at some point. Oops. So let's go ahead and put that right. Yeah, I mean, I could put it a lot of different places, but let's put it in line. This way these two things are kind of connecting to each other. And um, that means that this one will empty into this right away. And then anything new will kind of come into this one. Eventually everything will move to this until it's full. And then, yeah, by that point we will um, be ready to move on to the next step. So let's see, what's another thing we want to automate? Um, I'm trying to trying to pick an easy one to automate that we do end up making a lot of. Smelters we end up making a lot of, but smelters require four parts. Um, we could do our uh, solar panels, we can't do yet because we still need a lot more stuff for that. Still need a, a, a healthy production of silicon coming in. See sorters, uh, we already have the Mark I, wireless power poles or wireless towers, we don't produce nearly enough of those right now, or we don't use nearly enough of those. I mean, we could automate our Tesla towers. Yeah, let's do that, because I think the things that we need for the Tesla tower to automate should all be pretty close to each other. So I think that would be a, a, a quick and easy one to automate. And the great thing is looking over here, guess what? It is all right here. So the only thing I gotta do is put this thing right here, connect it up, and then we're good to go. Assemblers, yeah, I guess assemblers will probably be the next thing I wanna do. And uh, looking around, so we're gonna need some iron plates or iron ingots, which we have here. We're gonna need some gears, which we're producing over here. And then the uh, circuit boards, which are over here. So you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll handle these two things. And then uh, we'll go back to beefing up some other areas of the base. Let's see, I thought I produced a couple of these assemblers. Am I crazy? I know that I told it to produce them. Let's sort this, because sometimes it's a little hard to find things when they're like sorted wrong. I swear I created a couple of those. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so we can go ahead and drop this here. We can select our recipe, which is going to be the, as part of buildings, we're going to produce the Tesla towers. Is that what I said we we're gonna do? Yes, because both of these items are here. So um, this one we're also going to use Mark I uh, sorters with. We just it, There's no reason to waste uh, the resources on Mark IIs. Like, yeah, it'd be nice if they got created a little bit quicker, but to be honest with you, we're not going to be creating more than a couple stacks at a time. So there's no reason to use that uh, and just kind of waste the power. Oh, wait, we got to put a storage bin here first, and then we can connect this sorter to that storage bin. Perfect. Great, now let's run some power over here. Excellent. Why is this not producing? What am I still missing? Um, oh, 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 okay, I did mess up. These are the just magnetic core things. Um, okay, looks like we still need another thing here. Um, hmm. So there's a few different ways I can do this. I can create another, I can put a splitter here and I can bring some of it kind of over and drop it off here. I can put a one of these uh, sorters and kind of go over top with the sorter. But the disadvantage to doing that is that um, uh, you end up using power for it. I could potentially move this assembler right here, move this Tesla coil over I can grab directly from here. Well, I'd still kind of need that actually. So let's go ahead and put this, well, let's kind of size it up a little bit. So we put this here like this, and then we can have a sorter here to pull out of, or off this belt right there. Cool. And then come over here, get rid of those two things. We'll set up our storage unit here 
kind of going through this because I'm, I'm not quite sure if this is all going to fit. This is one of those situations where I really shouldn't be putting this many things so close to these other buildings. But, um, you know, all the, the things that we need are so close by, you know, but we're, we'll probably end up having to move those at some point. Uh, I'm still trying to keep things as separate as best I can, but this is one of those that's just too convenient. And we still need to connect our iron. Excuse me. Um, okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll set up a splitter here. Okay, so we're going to do this. This is going to look a little weird, but this is on purpose. Now, because I, I, I mean, I would want to be able to put the splitter here, but then that's going to get in the way of that. So I'm going to bring it back one, which actually, no, that's not going to be enough. we got to come back a little bit further because we need to have enough room to get up off the ground. I think we need three yeah we need three tiles worth so we would actually have to start it here to hit the down arrow key to go on uh, the ground floor and then you hit the up arrow key to go up to the next floor and then you can see that even though we connect these two it's still going to show it as uh you know it's still going to connect it like that it's kind of stupid i wish it would you know bring it right there and allow us to kind of set that up but we can put this here like this we can do a drop immediately I mean, I guess if I went back a little bit further, I could have had this thing a little bit better with that arch. Um, another thing I could do is I can take that out and then I could potentially put that right here. See if we can kind of come down here like this. Oh wait, that was in the wrong spot anyway. Let's see, that'd be cool if it'll let me do that. Oh, it does, okay, cool, excellent. But we don't want to go down just yet because we actually need to go across here and then, let's see, okay, good, we can put it on top of here, and then we can bring it down. Perfect. Well, not totally perfect, because we can't go right there, so what we'll do is we'll go up to here, and then we'll bring it down, which is still not giving us enough room. Crap, that's kind of an issue. Um, yeah, this is kind of an issue with the way that I did this. Uh, let's see if we can bring it down here. Oh, you know what? There's another way we can do this. Oh, wait. Let's try it right here first. Damn, it's still not enough. But, I mean, you can see that it will go there, but unless it... If it doesn't cly with another machine. Ah, but you know what we can do? Let's get rid of this machine here. Bring this over. We know exactly where we want to bring it. Bring it to there. Let it build itself out. Delete that. Now put the assembly machine in place. I'll we'll have to reselect the recipe because I did select it before. There we go with that. And we will have to connect up our sorters again, unfortunately. Oh, uh, it's too wide of an angle. Okay, so maybe that's not working the way that I want it to. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe that'll work. Perfect, there we go. And uh, it's got this nice little weird kind of twisty thing going there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think Brittany got really bored with the, with me streaming, so she she left. She just completely left. Hurting. She said, "Screw you, I'm going home," and she left. Can you believe that? <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, Jaeger just kind of like popped his head up like, what was that? <laughs> no, my back was hurting. I need to get a chair. I know, I'm just stuff. giving you shit. Uh-huh, yeah, you're giving me shit. Me? I'm gonna give you shit. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. all right, so let's go ahead and connect this sorter to there, and we're gonna start producing these automatically. We're gonna limit it to, uh, I guess we'll limit it to three stacks. This way we can pull two stacks on us if we were to go like to the other planet or something like that. Um... Yeah, I guess we could technically just do two of them, but you know what? Three is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll have it create three of those. So now we can just walk over anytime we need to, grab a couple of these, and we're good to go. We should automate our assemblers as well, but you know what? To be honest with you, I really don't feel like dealing with that just at this moment. I want to build something else. So let's see. Oh, you know what we can do? We can do some research. Uh, drone control would be nice. Inventory capacity. Actually, let's get that. 
because we are going to prepare to take a little trip to the other planet. And we're going to grab a little of this research stuff out of here. Don't want to grab all of it, but just enough that we can do the research alongside while this thing is uh, still doing its thing. Okay, so we're going to definitely need some fuel, so let's go get some of that. Actually, wait, let's take a look. So some of the things we're going to need, we're going to need some wind turbines, which I guess I should have automatically created those. Um, we can do that one later. Let's create a bunch of these. Weirdly on that planet, the wind turbines work. I don't know how that works, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to need a couple of mining machines. So let's go ahead and we'll just produce, uh, yeah, four of those is great. We can grab a bunch of conveyor belts out of our conveyor belt uh, manufacturer, which is right over here. Uh, yeah, we should grab... Uh, we're actually good on sorters. We had... Oh, you know what? Let's grab a stack of sorters because what we're also doing is we're going to want to fill ourselves up with as much stuff as we can because when we go to the other planet, we actually want to make a drop-off. So we're going to drop a bunch of stuff off at the other planet that we can use to further expand our factory. So we'll definitely need one of those. Uh, we'll get, um, I guess we'll build a couple of splitters. We'll build, uh, we're going to definitely need some smelters. So we'll just produce 10 of those smelters. We're out of material on something. I'm not quite sure what, but we'll kind of come back over here. I think it was the magnets, was that it? Okay, just kind of take a look at my inventory. We'll grab two sets of gears. We're just filling up on as uh, much, or not as much, but we're filling up on a bunch of reasonable things. There we go. So like I said, we're just gonna leave it there. It's totally fine. We don't have to worry about enemies or any of that kind of stuff, which is great. Kind of put this there. I'm thinking that we'll probably get the um, the base started a little bit, and then that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. I am feeling a lot better from my dental surgery, but it is definitely not perfect yet. And great thing is that our research has just completed, so we got a little bit more out of it. That's great. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll probably want to unlock the mech fuel. That'll give us a little bit more fuel capacity, which is always good. Um, oh yeah, one more construction drone. That'll be really nice. Oh wait, see, so mech core, so that's uh, maximum core energy. And then this one was energy circuits. Oh, that's fuel power. Increase the recovery speed of, oh, okay, got it. So the other one was a little bit nicer, but you know, it's okay. Oh, it's yellow. That's the next level of, um, of uh, research that we can't do yet. We got a ways to go for that. Um, yeah, we're not gonna queue up any more stuff. We'll just kind of leave that there. We will grab some stuff to do research while we are going along. Uh, I guess I could have grabbed the whole stack, but I'll grab one more, cool. Uh, so we've got to go grab some red, which is, uh, where is the red? Red is all the way up here. Sorry if you hear the uh, dishwasher in the background. Okay, let's see. It is producing these at a decent rate, but, uh, well, not entirely. It looks like our hydrogen is running a little bit slow still. Uh, oh, that's because we are not, why is this not going, oh, crude oil, we're actually not producing nearly enough crude oil, this is interesting, I didn't have this problem with my other game, uh, but let's go ahead and create another oil extractor, because we definitely want to keep that production up of that hydrogen, uh, let's see here, I know there was another, oh yeah, I guess we'll turn on the thing that lets us see where the mines are. Ah, oh, that's so much easier. Perfect. So now you can see we have another crude oil thing over here. This one back here is a lot faster, um, but we're not going to use that one for it right now because we're going to use that one as a remote kind of module site later. Because it'll 
It is a lot faster and it'll allow us to produce more components completely independent of everything else. Can drop that there. I mean, of course, I knew we were gonna need some power. We need the power. There we go. Oh, Jaeger's being so cute on me right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to bring this down over that way. But we're gonna have to bring it up over that ridge like we had done before. Oops, I went up too far. Okay, cool, that works. Then now we can zoom in, get rid of these two. Oops. We can drop it back down somehow. Just gotta make sure that the proper thing is actually um, selected. Oh no, that wasn't it. Crap. Up oh, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so now we can just kind of run this all the way across. Let the drones do their thing. And we gotta bring it around this wind turbine. And we're gonna kind of come around the back side into here. I was waiting to see if uh, Brittany jumped up from me saying something about the backside. But no, her back is hurting, so she's just laying down. Okay, so we're gonna let this thing go through a little bit more. And once these drones have finished uh, creating that, we'll do our final pack up and then head over to the other planet. Let's see, what else do we need? What else do we need to carry with us? Um, let's see, gears, I think we grabbed some already. These magnetic uh, things. Yeah, let's grab some of these magnets. How do they work? Oh, they're actually just called magnets in this one. Oh, cool, interesting. Don't they be like magnetic cores or some thing like that? Okay, grab a little bit of that. Oh, we should grab some circuits. Let's grab two stacks of that because we'll probably end up leaving one stack there. How are we doing on copper? Oh, we should grab some more copper while we're here because I don't know if there is copper up there. On the planet in my other game, there is uh, copper up there, but um, I'm not 100% sure if these planets are, are designed the same way or not. Okay, we have enough iron, we have enough steel bars on us. Um, oh yeah, I guess we should grab some more um, power. Tesla uh, towers over here. Uh, we'll grab two stacks of those, cool. And we can let those reproduce themselves automatically. Okay, anything else that I need to, uh, to grab? I don't think so. Oh wait, how are we doing on Belts. Ah, uh, we should definitely grab some belts while we're here. There we go. Probably way more than we need, but whatever. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here. I think that uh, I'm just going to grab some fuel and we'll be good to go for heading to uh, the other planet. Where the hell's my fuel production? <laughs> I know it's around here somewhere. Um, am I crazy or what? Don't answer that. Yes. I already said don't answer that after I said right. that. <laughs> yeah, but I had said it before you even did. I was already saying it. Liar. Pants on fire. All right, so grabbing a little of this energetic uh, iced tea thing out of here. Cool. All right, excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and save this game, and then we're gonna take off and head to the other planet. So first, what we need to do is we need to, uh, uh, we're gonna go to M and then click V. Uh, well, I mean, M will bring you just to the map, and then V will just bring you to the galaxy. So I could have just skipped things and went right directly to V, or just by hitting M, and then you can go to V, or you can scroll out. But when you scroll out with M, what ends up happening is you end up having to scroll out and then you have to keep moving the wheel a little bit more and more to confirm that you actually do want to go out. However, once you you know, go out to this level, you can no longer see the veins on the planet. But let's see, right over here, this is where we want to go. And it looks like we're actually in a good orbital um, 
alignment right now even though it's kind of moving away from us but it's a lot closer than it normally is so we know it's towards the Sun so let's just go ahead hit space twice we start flying hit it one more time and then we start taking off the planet there we go kind of align ourselves a little bit and then we're going to hit shift a little bit here and there to get us some speed um, gaining speed does require fuel so you don't want to uh, waste a whole ton of fuel just to speed yourself up a lot to get to something that's only going to take like 60 seconds to get there to begin with so you know this early on I wouldn't recommend going a little bit too much faster I mean with my other game because I have a lot of fuel right now uh, I would have just went all the way to like a thousand you know meters a second which would have been fine but for this one right now anything over 200 should be uh, sufficient I wouldn't go above 300 it's just kind of a waste right now because you can see that it does use a good amount of fuel I had just filled this thing up that is why I bring extra fuel with me just in case but um, yeah, so we still have a little bit to go. We got 0.26 astronomical units left to go before we get there. But let's go ahead and select some additional research. See if there's anything we really want to get. Uh, oh, this is one meter a second move speed. Have to unlock that. Let's see, heading over here. I mean, we'll be able to get a little bit of our small base set up before uh, I'm going to call it a night. But we might, um, but I think we might actually end the stream on this planet this time. This way, at the start of next game, we can actually, um, you know, start off from here. So I'm going to do like a quick little setup just to get a few things going. And then uh, I'm going to call it a night because I'm suddenly getting really tired for some reason. Um, okay, let's see here. We are almost there. So we're just kind of lining ourselves up. Um... You do use fuel to slow yourself down, so you probably don't want to do that too much. Unless you have lots of fuel, that is. The controls for flying are, eh, you know, they're kind of annoying, to be honest with you. Alright, so you can see that I'm heading right to the to silicon vein. Oops, get back here. There we go. Okay, so now we're flying within the planet's atmosphere, and we have landed. Now we are on the other planet. Yay! And you can see I have titanium right here. I have copper. I have uh, coal. Oh, wow, there is coal on this one. My other one did not have coal on the other planet. At least I don't think. But how is there wind up here? I don't get that. I mean, you know, it's it's there's 70% wind, but I, it doesn't seem like there should be much of an atmosphere to produce wind. It's one thing I just don't really get. Whatever. Anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and drop our first thing, which is going to be a miner. And we're going to drop that in there like that. We need to get some wind turbines going, so let's drop a wind turbine here. And just like we did before, we'll run a little nice stream going out this way. And we're going to want to take that silicon ore. Oh wait, this is silicon ore coming out. And then we're going to want to convert it into high purity silicon. So let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, these are producing the smelting facilities. Unfortunately, one thing that, you know, Factorio still has over this game is that, you know, you could uh, add modules or something to get it to produce that, uh, whatever it is, faster. Let's go ahead and select the recipe here. So we want the high purity silicon here. Yeah, I guess I could have just created one and just copy and pasted the rest of these. Uh, that's why I stopped building them after I realized like, oh wait, I could have done that. Now you can see we just don't have nearly enough power here. That's kind of expected. I mean, we only had one wind turbine. I would not expect that to be able to keep up with it. Even then, we're still at 27% usage, and that's only with, you know, the miner and three smelters. So let's go ahead and drop a few more of these out here. Uh, we don't have any solar panels just yet. I mean, there is a nice bonus for, um, for cellular on this planet, but, 
you know, we don't have enough to put it in areas where there's going to be sun all the time. Okay, now we're back up to 81%, so we're just going to run out a few more of these wind turbines as best we can, splitting them up, but also trying to complete as much coverage as I can. Let's see, putting this right about there, perfect. And this one right about there, perfect. Oh, excuse me. Itchy nose. All right, so now that we're producing, uh, yeah, we're producing enough. So what I'm gonna do is set up another belt here, drop it into a storage container. And um, that might be the, um, let's see, we can't do titanium yet, but we will, um, we will queue that up because that is definitely something we're going to want to do next session. And we'll be able to set it up here because we have titanium veins right over here being produced. And we're also going to drop a storage box over here because this storage box is going to be used to hold a lot of like extra miscellaneous for some of the things that I brought. Uh, yeah, I guess we could drop two stacks in there. Good. Drop these, uh, oh, we want to keep some of the smelters on us, but for right now we'll drop those in there. Uh, we want to carry some of the miners on us, but we'll drop some more in there. See, so drop some copper in here. Drop some iron ingots. Drop some of these stone bricks. One of those energy things. Steel beams, some gears, some prisms. Yeah, there's a lot of things we're going to drop in here. This is just to leave some extra supplies on this planet. So if we come here, we need to perform some work. We can uh, just grab some stuff locally instead of flying all the way back to get what we need. But again, this storage container right here, uh, sorry, my nose is itching really bad. Uh, this storage container right here is not going to be used for uh, storing the items that we're producing. That's only for like items that we need to you know, create more production. <laughs> I didn't like my placement of that, that storage bin, so I decided to move it over a little bit and let's see, sorter mark. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so this should now be producing. Why are these not going? Oh, that's why. I built these backwards. I'm like, wait, why are these not, why are these not dropping those items onto the belt? That was because I had produced, or I put those on the wrong way. Okay, so these will take uh, two seconds each. I can move one of them per second. So each of these, that's fine. Um, let's see, let's drop another, or let's create another couple of wind turbines. We're gonna need it here. So might as well drop them down. There we go. Making sure we got a connection with our grid. Oh wait, that's saying it was too close. Okay, good. There we go. Now we can have our stars start dropping those in there. Perfect. And there we go. That's gonna be definitely something we're gonna be doing on our next game. Cause we'll need that for creating uh, all sorts of uh, next step things like solar panels, for example. Um, requires six of these per solar panel. So we'll want to bring back a couple of stacks of this uh, of this stuff. Let's get rid of that extra ore, drop it in there. We have some copper, which we're not currently mining right now, but yeah. All right, well, I think, um, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. Let's see, let's switch over. The, oh wait, actually, let me save this game. Julian Sparkles, there we go. So we save the game and then we'll go over to the larger camera view. Hi, there you go. And you can see my green screen's kind of messed up. I'll have that fixed next week. Um, I got to move my setup just around a little tiny bit more, but it's, yeah. So just, just pretend you don't see this. Just ignore that over there. Anyway, well, I've been Julian Sparkles. Uh, I'll be streaming again on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, 
Pacific Time, not specific time. I stream every Wednesday and Saturday at 7 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. Please like, subscribe, do all the things, bell notifications, share it around, tell everybody about it. Like, everybody's got to know about my stream. Everybody's got to come hang out with me, please. Anyway, well, thank you so much for stopping by and have an excellent, excellent, glittery Saturday. Bye!